emotion. I'm not gonna tolerate that whatsoever. The anticipation is building, you know, for that day to finally come. I am so nervous. I fractured my pinky toe. This is crazy. Oh, I'm so pretty. The boys are fighting. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. This is what I want, and we're not changing it. get here. My name is Maria and I am a quinceanera planner. I travel all over the country and I make quince dreams come true. One dress, one shoe, one crown at a time. In my career, I have planned over 300 quinceaneras. Thank you, Maria. A quinceanera is a roller coaster. I'm used to the crazy. I think that's the only way it works now. I'm here to make your fairy tale come true. Can you believe that you're actually gonna get to meet Maria? No, I can't. Like, mom, you don't understand. I don't know what to say to her. What do I do? Hi, my name is Bailey. I live in La Habra, California, and I'm 14 years old. I've been told by a lot of people that I'm very rude and I'm very, like, stuck up. I like to keep things always 100% with people. One day, I would like to go to college at NYU. In college, I would probably want to study in something science-related. Having a quinceanera to me is very, very important. A lot of my childhood, the special moments I would have would be taken away, whether that be from somebody stealing those moments because they wanted the attention or something happening. That's probably one of the main reasons why I want to have a quinceanera is because I want to finally feel the moment of spotlight that I've never really got to feel. You talk to her about everything that you've been mentioning to me that you envision in this party. Like, that's what she's gonna try to make happen. I have all faith in her anyway. She is my party planner after all, you know? That's why she's gonna make a dream come true for you. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Hello! Hi! We finally get to meet you. Oh, how are you guys? Hi. Good, how are you? Oh have God. a seat, have a seat. I've heard so much about you. Oh, okay, I hope good things. All good, good things. things, all good things. I swear, you guys look like sisters. It's not even <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's great. Yeah, yeah see? <laughs> like, look like you guys are fun. I already feel it, so. We have a unique connection. Yes, we do. <laughs> So you're like best friends? Yeah. I, I think her relationship is unique. Like she has literally been playing both of my parents' roles all, all my life. She has played the dad role, she's played the mom role, she's played like a sister role, not even half a sister. <laughs> <laughs> she's an only child? Yeah. Oh, okay. And an only child. And an only grandchild. Oh yes. my gosh. And so you are like, you're, you're spoiled? When I deserve it. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we tend to bond a lot over stuff, whether it's a car ride to the beach or the over exciting parts of dancing or... Oh, you guys dance or...? I'm a cheerleader. Um, I'm on varsity. Okay. I just made varsity. I've been doing dance since I was 16 months. Oh yeah, I was a tiny, tiny child. Um, it started with me and my mom doing mommy and me ballet classes. I loved it so much. Like whenever I'd get in trouble when I was little, she'd be like, well, if you don't behave, you're not gonna go to dance class. And I would cry so bad because I loved going. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Raising Bailey as a single parent at home has definitely been a good um, challenge because we've developed each other's relationship a lot stronger. I can definitely tell everybody that I'm a pain. I am the biggest pain sometimes. Like, I'm, I'm super stubborn. Okay. Um, I could be very easy to deal with, but I could also be very hard at the same time. I'm very thankful for what has come into my life, and I will forever be thankful. That's my heart. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. Mom, well, you're doing a good job. Oh, you're doing you. an amazing job. You can tell. She definitely has succeeded my expectations, and I feel like it's a very well-deserved party for her. So I will definitely then make it my mission 
to give you like the most amazing quinceanera ever. I really hope she understands me. It's really nerve wracking because I do want her to understand what I'm trying to say. And I have a feeling if that doesn't happen, something's probably gonna go wrong. Okay, so if I told you, I'm gonna give you your dream quince, no questions asked. Oh. What would you say would be the perfect quince? I really like the theme called Enchanted Forest. It's a very like earthy type of theme mixed with a little bit of enchanted stuff in it. When you said Enchanted Forest, I'm thinking automatically emerald green dress. I would say either an emerald green dress, a cream, or a rosy pink. And she oh, looks yeah. beautiful and great. And then I would want all my tables to be the really pastel type of colors. Mm -hmm. And then my centerpieces to be either a bunch of like pretty flowers or like a cherry blossom tree. Tradition mixed with modern. Yeah. I was thinking about having a throne. We're gonna have you yeah. be the queen of the day. <laughs> yes. See, and then... you're not the only one that says that. <laughs> so I'm already envisioning everything in my head oh, and I'm yes. already thinking flowers and greenery and people walking in. So um, I usually ask all my quinceañeras this, but are there like any specific worries you have about your quince? Uh, in, a, in a way, yes, but in a way, no. Okay. So um, a lot of people have been telling me like, oh, are you afraid that some of your court people might want to like steal a spotlight from you or they might want to do something stupid. And forever. you don't have to worry about that. If yes. they end up, especially the day of your quinceanera, I'm going to make sure that they get picked up. Yeah, There's going to be no fooling around the day. Yeah, I don't, I don't need anybody misbehaving. I don't need anybody trying to steal anything from me because that is my day. On the day of my quinceanera, I want to feel free. Like, I want to feel no stress, no worry, no anything. I do want to feel like a princess. I do want to feel like I'm floating on a cloud and know that nothing is going to happen. It's almost like I want to be in a bubble where I'm not harmed. <laughs> I know traditionally we have the father-daughter dance. Yeah. Yes. We are having a grandfather-granddaughter dance. Yeah. My parents, okay. they are the godparents of honor. He's honestly been the main father figure in my life. What part of Mexico are your parents from now that like we're speaking? Mexicali. Mexicali. We're okay. all from Mexicali. That's your so yeah. When I hear grandma and grandpa, I'm like, I absolutely love that. Oh. Yeah. Will you guys also be having a mother daughter dance? Yeah. That's if something it, that if I it, want. If it fits, yeah. yeah. If it fits, okay. yes. We'll make it happen. We'd go dress shopping, mm -hmm. pick shopping, venue shopping. Ooh, yeah. So I'll be there directing you guys every step of the way. Bailey chose the Enchanted Forest theme, which is very popular this year. So it's all about greenery, forest. She wants a lot of traditional aspects, but she also wants to have elegant stuff. So it's gonna be a lot to do for just like a short span of time. Could I talk to you for a minute on the side? Yeah, sure, yeah. No peeking. So we were trying to figure out, obviously, with the stuff that we kind of mentioned, we wanted to do like something big for her. We had kind of ambition having a Grammy or Oscar in her face. Okay. okay. So I kind of need your help. Let me think about it. Um, I'll let you know. Okay. okay. All right, cool. Thank you. It was very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. My goal is to make you look good, and that's what we're gonna Thank do. You. Thank you. So we have a lot of work on a very, very short, short time limit. And Bailey is the only child. Some of the challenges with that is they have the only child syndrome. So they are used to getting their way. Sometimes you don't get what you want and that's always tricky in itself. We'll see how it goes. Today we're going to Christian's backyard and I'm going to ask my court to be in my court, but I'm also going to throw some challenges in there before I ask them. <laughs> Christian, thank you for inviting us over. You are the boyfriend of the year. Yes, yes. Um, for real. So, I'm going to be supportive. Oh, thanks. 
I do have a boyfriend. His name is Christian Ramirez. He's 15 years old and he's gonna be in my quinta. He's actually gonna be my main guy, so boop boop. <laughs> we met back in mid of seventh grade and we started talking. We started getting super close and we were best friends. He caught feelings pretty quickly. He wanted to be my boyfriend. I told him that I couldn't. I told him that my mom wasn't gonna let me date until high school. He was like, okay, I'll wait for you. And that's what he did. What are you guys planning on doing? I don't want to just like say to my court, do you want to be in it? I kind of want to make them work for it. Ooh, okay, so I, I have like some that. challenges and some questions to ask them. Okay. Yes. So they're going to work for a spot in your court. Okay. Got it. All right. Okay. So first and foremost, I want to know your guys' name and how do you know Bailey? So I'm Tegan, and I know Bailey from Cheer. Uh, my name's Corbin. I've known Bailey since middle school, and I'm also friends with Christian. I'm Raylena, and I've known Bailey for quite some time now. Hi, I'm Jordan, and uh, Bailey cheered for me when I was younger, and then now she's cheering for me in high school. I'm Hema. Uh, I've been knowing Bailey for like about a year now, and I met her because of Cheer. Uh, hi, I'm Christian, and I'm Bailey's boyfriend. Oh, everybody. Aww. <laughs> you guys are here today because Bailey has some exciting news. Nothing comes free in this life, so you guys are gonna have to work to be on my court, which is answering questions and doing some challenges. I want them not to necessarily work, but to work to be in my quinta. <laughs> Let's start off with a question. What is Bailey's favorite color? First one to answer. Purple? No. Emma? Pink? Yes. What is Bailey's favorite school subject? Math? No. Spanish? Yes. It's looking like only girls are going to be in the yeah. crew. Favorite fruit? Uh, watermelon, but like crunchy? No. <gasps> we got to talk, Bailey. Strawberries? No. Yeah. I know it, I know it, I know it. Orange. Yes. Like you guys know me better. Like, come on. You guys are saying that my favorite fruit is watermelon when it's actually oranges. What's going on here? We're gonna get started with the physical challenges, so everybody stand up. I will be showing you what you guys are doing. Okay, so you guys are gonna do a bow pose. The next challenge is gonna be a plank. Last one, for a piece. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, lift. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to winning this whole situation, I have a lot of hope in my girls. <laughs> They're really strong, very dependent. Wow, you guys are pretty good at this. Oh, 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 oh my god. Come on, him. You got it. <laughs> Echale ganas. It's definitely survivor for teenagers. Play. Oh, 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 get yourselves in like in a happy place. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jordan, you got it. Oh. Overall, watching them do these challenges is really funny, but it's also kind of sad how well they know me. Yes, Corbin! Oh, my triceps. Woo. The That's last fun. one, guys. And then we'll see who deserves a spot in Bailey's court. Go! This is harder than football practice. <laughs> of course, I'm rooting for the girls, but we'll see. They're all trying very hard. So it just shows that they really want to be part of Bailey's court and how much their friendship means to them. We made our final decisions, guys. So let's all get into a line. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you guys scared? You guys sound scared. Don't be scared. Yeah, a little okay. bit. It is time to decide this very, very important situation. Before I give you guys your last surprise, I just want to say thank you for doing this. You guys must really, really, really love Bailey, because you guys did the most, and I love it. So, Christian, will you be my Jamila? Yes. All right. Corbin, will you be my Jamila? Yes. Thank you. 
Jordan. <laughs> Will you be my Jambilan? Yes. Thank you. Jam Jam. Will you be my Dama? Yes. Thank you. Deep sir. Will you be my Dama? Yes. Yay. Bray Bray. Will you be my Dama? Yes. Now that you guys have your bags, you guys can open them. These are so cute. <laughs> she was just punking you guys. You guys were going to be in the court from the beginning anyway. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you. We got a court. Oh, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you doing all this. I love you guys. Unfortunately, LJ couldn't be there. He was a little busy on a schedule. I'm worried that my court will not be balanced between the guys and the girls with LJ missing. All right, come here. Good pack, good pack, good pack. I've asked Natalie and Bailey to meet me here today at Moda 2000 so we can go dress shopping. Dress shopping for a quinceanera dress is not like buying a t-shirt or a pair of jeans. It's an event in itself. When the quinceaneras wear the dress for the first time, it's like they transform into a princess. I'm pretty excited for today. I was like, whoa, this actually is happening. I am thinking of three color options. Sand pink, an emerald green, or purple. I feel like those type of colors would really tie into my theme pretty well. Hello, Maria! Hey, we meet again, we meet again. We meet again. Hello, hello. This is my mom. Hi, mom. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? And yay! Yay, Bailey! Godmother. So this is Gypsy. Hi, Hi, Gypsy. Nice to meet you. She is one of the designers here at Moda 2000. Okay. And okay. she is the one who's going to help us pick out your dress. Oh, I'm super excited. Right? Oh, my God. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. OK. Yes. All right, so get going, and I'll meet you over there in the fitting room. OK. OK. okay. Bailey is shopping for her quinceanera dress, but also mom, Natalie, is shopping for her dress as well. As a single cool mom, she deserves to play dress up with her daughter. So are you guys ready to see the girls? Yes. All right. Okay, let's do the countdown. Three, two, two. one. Good to see you guys. Oh, oh my god! Yay. I love it. You guys look like super queens. Models. You look yeah. Yeah. The first time I see Bailey with the dress on, her smile overcomes everything. Like, the room just pretty much becomes dark, and all I can see is her. I like it a lot. Yes, you like yeah. the color? It's the iridescent look. Yes. You know? It's like a unicorn. What about you, Mom? How do you feel? Turn it around. Give us a I shot. I feel as good as I look. How do you like the color? Girl boss. I like it a lot, actually. But it does go with this. There is a but. There I is can no see but. that there is a but. I'm a little nervous that my mom is going to get the same color dress as me. I don't know how I feel about the cut oh, on your yeah. V. It's like really awkward. It's so low. And yeah, yeah. I do want to feel like a princess. I do want to feel the moment of spotlight that I never really got to feel. OK. <laughs> Grandma, what do you think? Ma, ¿qué te parece? ¿Qué, qué parece los vestidos? ¿Sí? ¿Le gustan? Sí. Se miran Mucho. como princesas, ¿no? Ya. Yeah. ¿Qué siente? Emoción. Mucho. Sí. Mom, you're going to make me cry, don't you? I know. I can picture myself, like, partying, like, There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready for the party, OK? Try to make sure it works. So do you okay. want to go ahead and um, try another dress, maybe, with the straps? Yeah. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Let's do that. Sure. All right, do here this. we go. Ooh. Queen. Here we All go. Right. Yeah. See you guys later. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, two one. one. Come out. Oh, my God. That's the 
that's the one. How do you I feel? I feel so pretty. Like, yes. Do you feel like this is? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I really like this one. Like I really like the fit on it. I like the color. The straps, like, even though they're down here, like, it's giving me some support so I know this won't fall. Ma, it's a pretty thing. It's Aww, thank you. It looks amazing. Thank you. Do you like the color? I do. I love it. Mom? Yeah. Yes. I yes. Do. <laughs> what do I think about mom, Bailey? You look really pretty. Yeah? Spin, spin, like, spin. Yes. I, I oh, could, I could genuinely picture you in it. Do we match? I'm just kind of worried if she's going to get, like, some of the same details on her dress that I might have. Yes, it are goes. We, uh, are we a good fit together? It goes really good yeah, together. I, I think it does. Yes. Sí. Can I pick a crown? Yeah, let's try a crown on. Let's try a crown. Oh, my lord. I say the bigger, the better. There's two really big ones that are really pretty. But I want to start with this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Aww. <gasps> yeah, oh my gosh, <laughs> you look like a princess. Thank you. Yeah. Let yeah. me see. Yeah. Oh. Right? Right? Hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> but you just look so pretty. You know, I, I used to you. see her walking around doing this at home <laughs> with her big old tutus when she was little, and now, like, it's a big old tutu, but she's big. So, do you guys want to go ahead and try the last one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I really do like the color. I like the design on it. I'm like mind blown. I don't know. This is such a hard choice. It is a hard choice. Yes. I really like the second one though. You're still stuck on the second one. Grandma? Me gusta los tres Can we try it on with a green crown? Yes, let's try that. Oh my gosh. You're the enchanted forest queen. Leg. <laughs> I like it. I feel very confident with myself, and I feel very beautiful. So what do you think about mom's dress, Bailey? I like this one, and I like the second one. I love this dress, mom. I do, too. It's giving, like, Hollywood vibe. Yeah, because even though it has the same cut as the first one, this one doesn't look awkward at all. Maybe it was the shape of the other one? Yeah. It's with this one yeah. is just you. That one just screams you. If you had to pick Bailey, what dress would you go? One, two, or three? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so stressful. OK, um, when I make decisions like this that are pretty big, I kind of feel really important. I mean, I kind of feel like an adult because I'm like making some decisions for myself. But girl can only handle so much. I think I have a decision. <gasps> Are you guys ready? I'm saying yes to the second dress. Good job! Yes to the second dress! Let's find each other! That was really hard for me, but I did feel like I was floating on top of the world. This dress is something I can picture myself wearing on the day of my kingdom. Next time on My Dream Quinceanera. Quinceanera! Oh my god! It's coming so fast. Freaking the heck out. And we meet the next princess. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Angelica Luna. I'm really excited to meet Maria and I really hope she can make it My Dream Quinceanera. She's the queen. No, she's the princess. Mama. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at the cake. Oh, it's so fancy. Oh my gosh. So mom gets to pick the food, right? Oh god, I wish my mom would just chill out. She's like so so like opinionated and picky about everything. 